Hey, welcome to the Minnick Family Farm. I am Steve Minnick. My wife is Molly Minnick. And behind me, see some little purebred Berkshires. Um, we are a first generation farm. We have um, done everything ourselves from buying the property to developing what it is today it was bare farm fields. So, we planted trees, we do regenerative agriculture, we breed. Um, this is the first time we've actually bred the purebred Berkshires. So we got two sows next to me. This is their little guys is uh, just growing pen for right now, but they are out on pasture uh, tilling, fertilizing, um, eating grass, eating grain, um, since they are pigs. We also do registered Katahdin lambs. Uh, we breed them, so um, everything basically goes to process in order to feed, you know, non-GMO feed, no vaccinations, um, out on pasture, out on, you know, they get natural sunlight. Uh, we also do <coughs> um, tinctures, honey, turkeys, chickens, um, well, meat chickens, and also egg layers. And we've been doing farmer's markets in order to sell it, educate the public. Um, we would like to educate the next generation. Um, farming, not just commercial row crops, but also animal farming is, is a dying job or dying lifestyle. Um, a lot of people don't know where the food comes from. Uh, we use a 100% traceable butcher that's out in Indiana. We are in located in central Ohio. We do not outsource anything other than buying feed. Uh, we have five acres. Um, we've we fenced it uh, to protect the animals from whether that's coyotes or dogs or anything else. Um, we love what we do. We love our animals. Um, we are trying to get exposure, um, show the public what you can do on a small scale, but still give animals a habitat that they are supposed to be living in. Um, and then, you know, that it's, any, anybody can do this. Um, you don't need to buy grocery store. You can still keep everything small. Um, but we need everybody's help. Uh, we need to get our name out there. We need to, uh, we need help trying to grow, sustain, sustain as in, you know, inputs, um, Livestock farming, animal farming, however you want to call it, is very capital based because um, it requires a lot of time, which I don't get paid for my time. Um, I work a four, actually, me and my wife both work 40 hours. We have two kids. Um, uh, this is a goal that we are trying to do. It's very hard and we need help um, it's <clears throat> you know these guys we you know in order to promote products we we are hitting farmers markets uh, we sell here locally um, we do um, purchases through through square links um, we're on we, we've tried YouTube. Um, it's hard to get the exposure just because of uh, how society deals with living animals. And they, people, do, because the education is not there in the way, you know, people don't know where the food comes from. They think it's, you know, inhumane to butcher an animal and eat it. Um, but not realizing that, you know, the the habitat that we give these animals are not capable farms they're they're outside they're not crammed in a little you know a 10 by 10 cell 
and you know never see the light of day uh, we treat our animals re- with respect our our daughter loves out and plays plays with them um, you know they have a lot of the animals only have one bad day and that's butcher day you know the pigs on only have two bad days you know that's castration day and butcher day so we're doing what we can we love what we do um but again we need exposure we need help um but yeah it's it's one of those things that we are willing to educate anybody whether that's honeybees sheep regenerative agriculture pork turkeys chicken eggs um we have multicolored eggs and have had multiple times where you know people only want white eggs or they only want brown eggs because that's what's in the grocery stores that's what they're taught that's what they're told there's actually more nutritional value in a smaller multicolored egg or pasture raised egg than what's in the grocery store and it might be a bigger egg but that doesn't mean there's nutritional value in it um so we are we are here I would like to kick this thing off um, we thank you we appreciate you and hope to see and hear from you thank you guys